Gentleman from Indiana, Mr. Young, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A fellow Hoosier, fellow Marine, and fellow Patriot died on December 28th in his 81st year. I didn't know Andrew Jacobs, Jr., a gentleman who for 30 years represented the Indianapolis area and the U.S. House of Representatives with great distinction. But I'm familiar with the qualities of a decent, honorable public servant. And Andy Jacobs deserves to be remembered, honored, even emulated by those of us who now serve in this body or bother to keep watching its proceedings. He was born February 24th, 1932, in Indianapolis. After high school, Jacobs joined the United States Marine Corps. He was a plucky Marine. His country called him to service in the Korean War. He responded to the call of duty, fought bravely, and was wounded in action. When Jacobs returned home to Indiana, he enrolled in Indiana University, graduating in 1955. And three years later, he graduated from IU's law school. Jacobs had a passion for public service. So after completing his studies in 1958, the Marine kept fighting, fighting for a better America. First, as a sh sheriff's deputy, then as a lawyer, then as a state legislator, and then, beginning in 1965, as a member of Congress. In Congress, Andy Jacobs was a member of the House Ways and Means Committee, where he fought to balance the federal budget and simplify the tax code. He also fought, in the memorable words of journalist Coleman McCarthy, to oppose wars that he believed couldn't be won, explained, or afforded. Jacobs is survived by countless admirers, a beloved wife of 25 years, two sons, and two sisters. May each of us honor this fallen Marine's memory and his constancy of purpose by picking up his rifle and doing our part to fight for a better America. I yield back.